Hello teachers, learners, and parents. Sir Jeff po at your service. Alam nyo ba na meron tayong website na tinatawag na DepEd Commons? Ang DepEd Commons ay binuo upang gawing accessible ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral dito sa ating bansa gamit lamang ang inyong mga smart devices gaya ng cellphones, tablets, at computers. Dito ay maaari nating ma-access ang iba't ibang learning materials mula sa Department of Education. Meron itong mga interactive materials, electronic self-learning modules, at instructional video lessons mula sa DepEd TV na tiyak na makatutulong sa pag-aaral ng mga mag-aaral galing ka man sa public o private school. Walang problema! Dahil welcome ang lahat dito. Para ito sa mga guro, magulang at mga mag-aaral mula sa kinder hanggang grade 12, alternative learning system o ALS, at pati na rin ang special education. At huwag kang mag-alala dahil kahit walang load ay maaari mong ma-access ang mga learning materials. Tama! Libre ito! Ang kailangan mo lamang gawin ay i-on ang iyong data at buksan lamang ang iyong browser at i-type ang commons.deped.gov.ph Alam na ba ng iyong mga kasamahang guro o mag-aral ang tungkol sa DepEd Commons? I-share mo na ang video na ito upang matuto rin sila kung paano gagamitin ang DepEd Commons sa mabilis at napakadaling paraan. Muli! Ito po si Sir Jeff at kita-kits po tayo sa DepEd Commons. Paalam! Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. Okay, good afternoon everyone. I am Tutor Ann. It's Monday again and I am here to assist our senior high school students for our lessons for week 3, General Chemistry 2. If in the event na nawalan kayo ng connection or nagka-problem sa inyong mga devices, pwede nyo pong balikan tong video na ito sa Facebook page ng DepEd EdTech Unit, DepEd Philippines, and DepEd Tayo. Ganon din po sa, kanilang, sa ating YouTube channel, DepEd EdTech Unit and DepEd TV. So... Again, before I start, I uh, would like to say hi to all our senior high school students. So, sa mga nabasa ko pong comments sa previous online session, online tutorial sessions natin, nakita ko po na may, mer may mga students tayo from Cebu, Cebu, Davao, Iligan, Bicol, Bataan. So, marami pong mga different area uh, sa mga iba't ibang lugar po sa Pilipinas na nanonood sa atin. So, I just also like to congratulate our parents kasi nakikita nila na eager ang mga uh, anak nila to learn even in the middle of pandemic. And let us say thank you to all your teachers na gumagawa ng mga kapamaraanan for you to, for you to receive education, quality education. Okay, like what I always do, like what we always do in this tutorial, uh, let us have a positive mindset. So, dahil chemistry tayo, nag-search tayo ng uh, mga chemicals na pwedeng magpataas ng, uh, mga, ng mga happy hormones natin. So, merong apat na happy hormones and we will discuss muna for 
uh, as, uh, to start lang our lesson, the dopamine, the reward chemical dopamine. So we will have quick tips on how to increase our dopamine level. So sabi daw, para tumaas ang ating uh, dopamine level, um, um, pag tayo nag, uh, nagkakaroon ng... Uh, nakakatapos ng isang task or nakakakompleto tayo ng task ay tumataas ang ating dopamine level sa katawan. Sa dami ng worksheets na inyong sinasagutan, I'm sure um, nagiging happy kayo kapag nakakakomplete kayo ng task. And then, eating food. Wala naman po sigurong tao na, na after kumain ng, after kumain na lungkot. So, uh, that is a way to increase our dopamine level. And also, doing self-care activities. Pero dahil bawal po ngayon, dahil nga pandemic, bawal tayong lumabas, pwede naman po tayo mag-DIY. So, kung gusto nyo pong magbigay uh, na sarili nyo self-care, kumuha kayo ng batsya, lagyan nyo ng medyo warm na water, lagyan nyo ng, ng sabon, so i-soak natin yung ating paa. So, yun, uh, nakaka-increase yun ng dopamine level sa ating katawan. Bigyan natin ng uh, self-care ang ating mga sarili-sarili. So, ganun din, let us celebrate little wins. Kapag tayo ay naka-accomplish, let us not deny celebration to ourselves. Pwede din nating regaluhan ang ating mga sarisaring napakaraming online shops na pwedeng uh, way para regaluhan natin ang ating sarili. So, uh, those are some of the quick tips para tumaas ang dopamine level ng ating katawan. Kasi pag tayo happy, um, nagiging positive ang ating outlook. So, So tara, let us uh, start this task, let us complete this task para tumaas ang dopamine level sa ating katawan. Okay, so the most essential learning competency that we're going to deal this afternoon is use different ways of expressing concentration of solutions, percent by mass, percent by volume, percent by mass over volume, mole fraction, molarity, molality, ppm. So it has a stem, uh, it has a code stem underscore GC11 PP third quarter D to F objectives number 111. Okay. For this session, this online tutorial, our objectives are Number one, define concentration. Two, determine the formula to solve percent concentration, molarity, and molality. So dahil nga medyo marami namang ways of expressing the concentration, magpo-focus lang tayo sa percent concentration, molarity, and molality. For objective number three, we have solve some problems on percent concentration and molarity and molality. Okay. For our references, kinuha ko po yung mga lessons dito, yung mga sample exercises natin sa chem.librarytext.org, sa canacademy.org, and uh, courses.lumenlearning.com. So, pwede nyo pong screenshot tong uh, video na to, tong part na to, para mabisita nyo rin tong uh, website na ito. Okay, before I start, I would like to give you this few questions. So sabi dito, good afternoon ma'am, good afternoon, Mikaela, May Garcia, uh, Dion, Sayerin, uh, Ra, Grasa, Gragasin. So good afternoon, Samantha, Palma de la Cruz, from Maria, Victoria de la Cruz. So, and Jeline, Casilan, good afternoon din po. From Ma'am Emilor, Villena, Cortesano, good afternoon po. So to start this discussion, I would like to make sure that our students know the difference between the solute and solvent. So kindly type in sa comment section ang sagot nyo sa tanong na ito. What is the substance being dissolved in the solution? Okay. Just type in your answer. Pwede nyo pong ilagay din ang inyong lugar para mabasa natin. So is it letter A or letter B? Okay, so sabi ni Ma'am Karen, eh, from Iloilo siya, so hey, good afternoon po. So sabi ni Eliza Kirsten, A, sabi ni Rochelle Ann, solute po. Sabi ni Lor Lawrence Timtiman, solute po. Ni Ella, solute. Kevin Smith, solute. So let us check if this turns green, that is correct. If, it, this, if this turns pink, uh, that's wrong. Okay, let us see. Sabi ni Karen Ramos, solute. Okay, ni Roderick, ni... Medina, ni Jason, ni Yasmin. So sabi nyo, solute, correct. So it is important that you know the difference between solute and solvent. Kasi eh, yung solute, yan yung tinutunaw. The solvent is the nagtutunaw. Charot. 
Next, what is the general term that expresses the quantity of solute contained in a given uh, amount of solution? Again, what is the term used that expresses the quantity of solute contained in a given amount of solution? Okay, can you type in your answer? Is it letter A, concentration, B, fraction? Sabi ni Grace A, ni Emmy Bunagan. Ay, no, kanina pa yung solvent ni Emmy. So, ni Grace A, ni Ju, ni... Let us wait. Um, sabi ni Medina, concentration. Okay, from Las Piñas, sabi ni Lawrence, concentration. Let us check if your answer is correct. Rachel Baldonado, concentration. Okay, so... Um, the term used to, uh, that expresses the quantity of solute is concentration, not fraction. Next, what is the term used to measure the amount of matter in an object? Okay, so medyo delayed yung mga pasok ng comments, so hintay-hintay tayo. Again, what is the term used to measure the amount of matter in an object? So sabi from uh, DO of Escalante City, Rose Garcia, Pacifica, Sure. Ayun. And then Grace Nitor, sabi niya, kanina, concentration. Okay, let us wait for their answers. Sabi ni Medina, ang sagot daw dito ay mass. So let us check. Ni Rachel Baldonado, mass. Okay, let us see if your answer is correct. Sabi ni Jason, B, mass. Karen, mass. LC, mass. Okay, next. Okay, correct. The answer is mass. What? Next question. What is the term used to describe a solution that has a relatively large amount of dissolved solute? Again, what is the term used to describe a solution that has a relatively large amount of dissolved solute? Marami daw na natunaw na, dis, na, na solute. Okay, let us wait for our students to type in their answers. Sabi ni Jaya Demetrial of Las Piñas, A. Sabi ni Rochelle, Okay, so sabi A, sabi ni Rochelle A, sabi ni Agpoon, concentrated solution po. So let us check. Sabi ni Twinkle De Leon A. Okay, so marami na pumapasok. Let's check. Okay, that is correct. Uh, that is concentrated. Kapag maraming solute, concentrated. Kapag kukonti ang solute, diluted. Okay. So, uh, I have here a picture of a water, a glass of water na nilalagyan ng pwedeng salt o pwede tong sugar. So, for us to describe the concentration, the, the, I mean, for us to describe the tabang and the tapang ng timpla, kung mat matabang ba or matapang ang timpla, the term that we use is concentration. Concentration is a general term that expresses the quantity of solute contained in a given amount of solution. Again, it is the term that expresses the quantity of solute. Ito yung magde-describe kung matapang ang timpla at kung matabang ang timpla. Okay, there are many ways to express the concentration of solution. So, we have percent by mass. We have percent by volume. We have percent by mass over volume. We have molarity. Molality, eh, molarity and molality. So, ayun na pala yan. So, we have five. Pero actually, meron pa kasi yung normality uh, na way of expressing the concentration at saka mole fraction. And also yung sa PPM kanina. But uh, dahil we only have 40 minutes, so pipilitin ko na tong lima na to ay matakel natin. Okay. First, percent by mass. Percent by mass is when the solute in a solution is a solid, a convenient way to express the concentration is a mass percent, which is the grams of solute per 100 gram of solution. So the formula to get the percent by mass is percent M is equal to mass of solute over the mass of solution times 100 to get the percent times 100. So, let us remember that solution uh, is a combination of solute 
and solvent. Bakit ko in-emphasize ito? Kasi po, sometimes, dahil sa problem, kung ano yung number na nakikita natin, yun na yung nilalagay natin sa formula. But I would like to emphasize, na dahil sa denominator solution ang nakalagay, kung yun ay water lang, you have to add the solute. Kapag nakalagay sa problem water, solvent lang yun. So, kailangan yung isama yung solute. You have to uh, add the solute. Pero kung yan ay nakalagay naman ay solution na, so you don't need to add kasi solution na siya. Okay, let us try this problem. Let me just uh, change my... May ink colors. Uh, try natin ng blue. Okay, suppose that a solution was prepared by dissolving 25 grams of sugar into 100 grams of water. So, isulat muna natin dito ang uh, mga data. So, nakalagay dyan, 25 grams of sugar. So, alam na natin na that is our solute. So, mass of our solute is... 25 grams. Ganda na sulat ko, no? Madulas kasi yung sulatan. Next. Uh, we have 100 grams of water. So, dahil water lang yan, that is the mass of our solvent lang. So, lalagyan natin dyan, 100 grams of water lang. Pero for us to get the mass of the whole solution, sabi kasi, di ba, sa problem, eh, sa formula, Wait. A formula dito kanina sa denominator mass of solution. So kailangan kunin natin yung mass ng solution. So dito let's write here the mass of solution. What is the mass of our solution? Paki-type in nga po dito while I'm writing this label. Mass of solution. Okay, what is the mass of our solution? Let us have Sino kaya ang maka-ano? Ka-answer. Okay, wala pang nagsasagot. So for us to get the mass of the whole solution, we have to add solute and solvent. Sabi ni Mike Agpoon, 125 grams po. Okay. So syempre, add natin yung solute at saka yung solvent, 125 very good grams of the whole solution na siya. Okay, so... So, the formula is percent M is equal to the mass of solute. So, let us write 25 grams over the mass of the whole solution. Okay, sabi ni Lori Bell Ancheta, 125 mass of the solution. Correct po. Sabi ni Roderick, sorry, ni Roderick at saka ni Philip, saka ni Yasmin, 125 grams. So, the mass of the solution is 125. 25 grams times 100 for us to get the percentage. So, 25 divided by 125, pakitype in nga po ang inyong sagot. Okay? 25 grams divided by 125 grams times 100 for us to get the percent by mass of this problem. The answer is... Okay, nakaredy naman in yung mga calculators, di ba? 25 divided by 125 times 100. The answer, sabi ni Mike Agpoon, is 20. So that is 20%. Okay? So that is our answer for this problem, for percent by mass. So saan ba ito ginagamit, ma'am? Ginagamit ito to express the concentration, kung ma, yung concentration na kapag pinagsama daw natin yung asukal at saka tubig, um, the, na 25 grams and 100 grams, ang kanyang concentration ay 20%. So medyo uh, kung matabang ang timpla or matapang ang timpla. Di ba sa mga pag nag-order kayo ng mga milk tea, tinatanong, kung 75% po ba, 50% po ba, 25% po ba ng sugar. So, ayun yun. Yun ang um, application ng percent concentration. For the percent by volume, so the percentage of solute in a solution can more easily be determined by volume when the solute and solvent are both liquids. So, kapag parehas liquid and they are both expressed in uh, ML, so yun ang ating uh, isosolve. So, the formula is 
percent V is equal to volume of solute over volume of solution times 100%. Again, I would like to reiterate, kapag sa denominators, volume of solution, pagsasamahin niyo po yung solute at saka solvent. Okay, sample problem on percent by volume. If a solution is made by taking 40 ml of ethanol and adding enough water to make 240 ml of solution, what is its percent by volume? I'm sure nagko-compute na ang ating mga estudyante ngayon. So as I write the, the solution, pwede nyo na pong i-type in sa inyong calculator ang inyong sagot para mamaya meron, din ta, meron na tayong answer. So dito, the... the Volume is 40 ml. Antong 40 ml na to? This is our volume of our solute. This is 40 ml of ethanol. And then the volume of our solution, dahil nakalagay na dyan ay solution, hindi na po natin siya ia-add kay ethanol. It means na may... Um, after pag-combine nitong dalawang ito ng solute at solvent, nag-come up with 240 ml of solution na. So we will write here 240 ml of ethanol solution. So this is already solution. Okay, let us uh, sa, uh, write the formula. Percent volume is equal to volume of our solute, which is the ethanol, volume of our solution, times 100. Okay, substitute. Volume of our solute is 40 ml. Over the volume of our solution is 240 ml times 100%. So kindly uh, type in your answers sa ating comment section para ma-solve na natin to. 40 divided by 240. Ang sagot ni Jason, 16.67%. Ni Ganon din si Rachel Namayan, ni Mike Agpoon, ni Jaya Demetrial, Rochelle Ann, Lawrence Timtiman, Janela Cruces, Twinkle De Leon, 16.67, Alisa, Rachel Baldonado, Lawrence, Philip, Elsa, Boca, 16.67. But the, the unit is percent, not ML. But that is correct. Your answer is correct. That, because we're talking about the percentage. So dito, ang unit na niya ay percentage. So thank you for the F, uh, effort. Tama yung answer mo po, Elsa, Boca. But we'll change that unit in percent. So 40 divided by 240, the answer is 16. Nawala na yata ng tinta. Joke. 16.67%. So that is for our answer for problem number two. Okay. Oy, thank you, uh, Elsa, for correcting. For percent by mass over volume naman, the mass volume percent is cal the mass volume percent is calculated by dividing the mass of the solute by the volume of the solution and expressing the result as a percent. So the formula is percent M over V grams of solute per ml of solution. Okay, so this is atong percent by mass over volume. So yung mass, din, uh, uh, yung solute nilagay sa uh, liquid solvent. The, the, that liquid is expressed in ml. Okay, times 100. Okay, sabi dito, of solution ulit sa denominator. So sample problem on percent by mass over volume, we have, wait, recognize ko lang po, Roxanne Mamawag, 16.6, correct? Eduardo Arevalo, 16.67. Elizabeth, correct? Uh, Elban Buena, correct? Okay, so yun ang mga nagsagot sa atin sa problem number two. For this problem, 10 grams. So, ayun, nag, 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 nagko-compute ating mga estudyante. If a solution is prepared from 10 grams of NaCl, so ano yan, 10 grams na yan, that is the mass of our solute is equal to 10 grams NaCl. Next, to make 150 of the solution, solution na siya. So, the volume of our solution is 150 ml. 
Okay? Sabi sa formula, uh, percent by mass over volume is equal to uh, mass of solute over volume of your solution. So let us substitute. The mass of our solute is 10 grams. May sagot na kagad sila. 10 grams of uh, NaCl over the volume of our solution is 150. Okay, 150 ml of the whole solution. Let us type in our answer. So, ayan, may sagot na sila. Ang sagot nila, Danica, ni Lori Bell, ni Jason, ni Rachel Namayan, ni Mike Agpoon, ni Raven, ni Rowell, ni Lawrence, ni Lori Bell, ni, ni Rochelle, ni Jaya, ay 6.67. That is correct. 6.67 percent. Sabi din ni Jelmar, ni Janela, ni Ella, ni Raven again, ni Twinkle, okay, ni Yasmin, ni Philip, ni Eliza, Kristen. So, yun. Uh, that is correct. 6.67 percent. Next. Meron tayong percent by mass, percent by volume, percent by mass over volume. Now, we're going to tackle molarity. So, dito sa molarity, uh, Molarity is defined as the number of moles of solute per liter of solution. So sabi dito, not per liter of solvent. Ini-emphasize lang yan kasi nga minsan water lang ang nilalagay sa problem. So kailangan yan ay malinaw sa atin yung mga data para yung information na ilalagay natin sa formula ay tama. Number of moles of solute per liter of solution. Again, not per liter of solvent. Okay, if that is so, the formula for getting the molarity, again, molarity is written in capital letter M. Okay, sorry. And capital letter M is equal to the moles of solute over liter of solution. Pwede ko naman ilagay dyan volume of solution, pero nilalagay ko na liter to... Uh, make us aware na dapat ang volume natin ay naka-express sa liter, not in milliliter. Okay, so that is the formula to get the molarity. Okay, in discussing this molarity, gusto kong ipakita sa inyo ang FET simulation, FET simulation ng molarity. So, pwede nyo itong bisitahin sa... Uh, Fet.colorado. So, dito, ito ay ginawa nilang simulation app para maintindihan natin ang molarity. So, dito, meron tayong solute. Nakikita naman po yung aking screen. Ano? So, ito ang ating mga kind of solutes na ino-offer nila sa kanilang simulation application. So, meron tayong drink mix, cobalt nitrate, cobalt chloride, and so on. And meron din tayong sodium chloride. And this one naman is our source. So, ganyan ko muna. This one is our source of water. Pag gusto nyo dagdagan ng water. And ito naman pag gusto nyo pong bawasan. So, pwede natin yung uh, gamitin to explore and how to prepare solutions. Ito naman if you want to evaporate. So, mag-evaporate lang siya. Hindi siya lalabas dito. This one naman is a device used to measure the concentration in molarity, this is specifically designed for molarity. So dahil wala pa tayong nilalagay na solute, zero pa lang yan. Pero once nilagyan nyo like say drink mix, magkakaroon na siya ng timpla. Kasi nga, solution is a combination of solute and solvent. So kung gusto nyo i-remove ang solute, or kung gusto nyo palta ng ating solute, itak-tak lang natin, tapos ayan na yung concentration niya. Pero pwede nyo rin siyang i-reset. Okay, so I have here, so piliin natin ang sodium chloride. Okay, nag, uh, let's say magta, um, ang ating volume ay 0.5 liters. Obvious naman na nakalagay dyan, it's 0.5 liters. Pag nilagay natin yan, zero pa lang. Pero pag nagla naglagay tayo ng konting asin, magkakaroon na siya ng concentration. Pero paano natin malalaman kung gano'ng karaming asin na nilagay natin since meron na tayong 
uh, data for volume at meron din tayong data for concentration, pwede natin niyang ma-solve. So, uh, naglaga, nakita niya, naglagay tayo ng asin kanina, sodium chloride, sa 0.5 liters of water. So, ilagay natin, ang volume ng ating water ay 0.5, ay, 0.5 liters. Okay. Next, the volume of our, uh, that's uh, the volume of our solvent, pero nadagdag na nga natin yung ating sodium chloride, so yun na yung volume ng solution. Tapos, um, we have the molarity. Meron na tayong value for molarity. Ito. Binigay na na tong device na to na nag-measure ng concentration. So, 0.490 moles per liter. Sabi sa formula ng molarity, diniscuss natin kanina, molarity is equal to mole of solute per liter of solution. So let us substitute. Ano ang ating mole lang so ano, hindi pa pala natin masasubstitute kasi nga mole ang hinahanap. Molarity given ang molarity given ang liter, kailangan muna nating i-derive itong formula na to. So i cross criss cross natin, criss cross method. So for us to get the mole of solute, so let us write mole of solute is equal to molarity times the liter of our solution. So ngayon, meron tayong formula to get the mole of solute kasi gusto nating malaman gaano karaming asin ba yung naitaktak ko, na ilagay ko sa solution na ito. So mole of solute is equal to, let us multiply, the molarity is 0. Point, type in na po ito sa inyong calculator, 0. 0.490 mole per liter Tapos, uh, liter of solution is 0 0.5 liters. So, syempre, we have the same unit. Isa na sa numerator, isa na sa denominator. Pwede natin i-cancel. So, we have four, 0 0.490 times 0 0.5. The answer is, type in nga po. Ano po ang ating sagot? 0 0.490 times 0.5. Okay, let's wait. I'll also press in my calculator, 0 0.490 times 0 0.5. The answer is, oh, may nagsagot na ba? Okay, sabi ni Francis Luares, 0 0.245, ni Yasmin, 2.245, ni Danica Barcelo, ni Ella Tapis, ni Rachel Baldonado, Joselu Abashal Sanyosa, uh, Rachel Namayan, Philip Lodana, Danica Barcelo, the answer is 0 0.245. So let us write our answer, 0 0.245. What is our unit? Okay, ang naterang unit natin ay mole, so dapat ang unit natin ay mole. So, yun naman ang hinahanap natin, mole of our solute. Okay, pwede pa natin niya ma-identify yung grams, pero wala na akong space uh, dyan. Pero dahil mole na may hinahanap natin, okay, pero if you really want to know the grams, sige, tingnan ko may aangat ko ba ito. Ayun. Okay, so 0 0.245 mole kon ng asin. Asin to, di ba? NACL. Salitang ko sulat. 0 0.245 mole ng NaCl. Convert natin. Ano ba ang mass ni asin? Sabi sa mass ni asin, 23 si Na. Si Cl ay 35, yung atomic mass niya. So, ang total nun ay 58. Sa kada isang mole ng asin, merong tayong 58.45 or isarado na natin 58 grams ng uh, NaCl. Okay, kindly type in your calculator 0 0.245 times 1. Siyempre, 0.245 divided by 58. What is your answer? Okay, tingnan natin anong sagot ng ating mga estudyante. 
Thank you, Sir Yanni Marquez, watching from Las Piñas City. So, ang sagot ay... Wala pa nakaka-type in sa ating estudyante. Sabi pala ni Jennifer Tomas Regala sa sagot niya kanina, 0.245 mole. Thank you for your participation. Okay. Sabi din ni Ma'am Floyd Delma Kayomba Atok Kabanyag. Okay, sabi ni Twinkle, ang final answer to get the grams. Ay, so mali mali ang ang sulat ko. Okay, hindi ko napansin, sorry. Ang ko anong unit nyo dito, sorry, ko anong unit nyo rito? Okay, I would like to correct this. Ko anong unit nyo dito, yun dapat ang nasa denominator. So, change ko lang to sa 1 mole of NaCl, nagkabaliktad lang, my 58 grams. Kasi, uh, malalaman nyo naman kung mali ang na magiging sagot nyo. Kasi dapat ang matitirang unit ay grams. Kasi grams nga natin siya kinoconvert. So dito, kung mole dito, makakancel ko to, makakancel ko rin ito, ang natirang unit ay grams. So dapat ang final answer natin ay nakagrams siya. So, 0 0.245 times 58 pala. Sorry, mali ako. Okay. So, 0 0.245 times 58 divided by 1 times 58. The answer is 14.21 grams. Okay. So, lalagay ko rito, 14.21 grams. So, Ibig sabihin, yung mga tinaktak ko po dito kanina, ang, na, ang amount na naidagdag ko ay 14.21 grams para magkaroon ka ng 0.490 moles per liter. Okay, malinaw po sa atin yon. Okay, nagkabaliktad lang po ng sulat dito. Again, for you to check if your answer is correct, whatever the unit in the numerator, that must be in the unit in the denominator para makancel nyo. And then yung remaining unit, yun yung final answer, unit nyo sa final answer nyo. So again, the answer is 14.21. Double check ko lang. 0.245 times 58. The answer is 14.21. Okay, naintindihan po. Thank you po sa inyong participation. Si Steen Valenzuela, Yanni Marquez, Danica, Janel, Janela, Alaysa, Edilyn, Jaya, Okay, so, pero hindi pa dyan. May isa pa tayo. So, I know, medyo ma-extend siguro tayo ng very light. So, for our next way of expressing the concentration is molality. So, itong molality naman is the moles of solute divided by the kilograms of solvent. Again, molality is the moles of solute divided by the kilogram of our solvent. Okay, sample problem for molality. Determine the molality of a solution prepared by dissolving 28.60 grams of glucose, C6H12O6, into 250 grams of water. So, um, we will use the molecular weight of Glucose C6H12O6, 180 grams per mole. Kasi nakalagay dito ay grams. Kailangan i-convert muna natin ito. So, 28.60 grams ng glucose C6H12O6 into 250 grams of water. 250 grams of water. Okay, sabi sa definition ng molality, the solvent must be in kilogram. So, kilogram of solvent, di ba? Recall natin yung ating uh, for definition. Moles of solute, molality. Ang symbol ng molality ay small letter M is equal to the moles of solute over kilogram of solvent. Okay. So, kilogram of solvent dapat yan. So, in this problem... 28.60 grams, nakagram siya, kailangan muna natin i-convert sa mole. Ito namang water, yung solvent natin, nakagrams, kailangan natin i-convert sa kilogram. So let us, uh, let us write. The unit is, uh, let us convert this. Sabi, gamitin daw natin ang molecular weight ni 
glucose, 180 grams per mole. Katulad ng problem kanina, kung gram ang nasa numerator, kopihin natin sa denominator para mamaya makancel natin. And dito, mole. Sa kada isang mole daw ng C6H12O6, mayroong 28.6 gram, ay na, no, sorry, erase ko. Okay, erase natin. Sa kada isang mole daw ng glucose, mayroong 180 grams. Okay? So, pwede natin ito makancel, mama. Ayan, makancel yan. So, again, I will repeat, the molecular weight of glucose is 180. So, sa kada isang mole ng glucose, may 180 grams. So, 28.60 times 1, 28.60 divided by 180. The answer is, paki, ano nga po, pakitulungan ako, 28.60 divided by 180. Ano po ang ating sagot? So, sabi ni Jason, it twinkle 0.16. The unit is mole of C6H12O6 or glucose. Meron na tayong mole ng solute. Meron na tayong mole ng glucose. Pero yung ating solvent ay nakagram pa. So, we have to convert this to kilogram. Tandaan natin, sa kada isang kilo, in 1 kilogram, merong... 1,000 gram. So, what is the answer? 250 divided by 1,000, the answer in here is 0.25. Okay, the unit now is not in grams, but in kilogram. Now, let us substitute. So, 0.16, so, molality is equal to 0.16 mole ng glucose, C6H12O6, divided by 0.25 kilogram of our water, H2O. What is our answer? 0.16 divided by 0.25. Okay, may mga nagsagot na po sa atin. Sabi ni Win Rose Francisco, ni Mike Agpoon, Francis, para-para sila ng mga tinipe, 0.25, let us, ayan, 0.25 yung pag-convert kanina ng water, di ba? So, let us get muna now the molality. 0.16 divided by 0.25. The answer is, sabi ni Jaya, ni Ella, ni Winrose, ni Sistine, ni Franci Lu Luares, ni Philip Lodana, the answer is 0.64. Okay, 64. Okay. Ano po ang ating unit? Erase ko lang. Pointer... Okay, the unit is, ano ulit sagot nyo? 0.64. The unit is what? Let's see kung, na, kung tama ang ating mga estudyante. Yes, um, thank you Mike Tagpoon, Jacob Hezekiah Seth. Your answer is correct, 0.64 mole per kilogram. Mole per kilogram. So thank you Mike. Thank you, Jason, for answering. So that is our topic for molality. Again, ang molality, ang unit nun ay mole per kilogram. Ang molarity is mole per liter. Okay. So ayun po ang ating lesson for week 3 for Senior High School General Chemistry 2. Actually, meron pang mole fraction, meron pang normality, pero ayun po ang common na mga ways of expressing the concentration of solution. And uh, I would like to thank all of the teachers who participated 
all of the oh, at saka yung share ng mga teachers para mapanood dito ng ating mga senior high school students. Ganon din po ang ating mga parents na sinishare nila ito sa ating mga, uh, sa mga anak nila at ang mga senior high school students na nag-aaten, nagpa-participate weekly. So week 3 na po tayo ngayon. So for week 4, ire-ready ko na rin po yan for next week. Sama-sama po nating itulay ang pagkatuto kasama ang DepEd TV, DepEd EdTech Unit. So bisitahin niyo lang po ang mga programs na pina-prepare nila sa natin ng ng DepEd EdTech Unit sa Facebook page and YouTube channel. So muli samahan niyo po ako sa Monday ulit 5:20 to 6 o'clock General Chemistry 2. So next week i-ready na natin yung lesson. So thank you everyone and may God bless us all. Sigurado ako na marami ka na namang natutuhan sa ating itulay tutorial session ngayong araw. Tandaan, ito ay hindi lamang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, kundi pati rin sa ating mga minamahal na guro at mga magulang na kaagapay natin para maituloy ang pagkatuto sa kabila ng nararanasang pandemya. Patuloy ding sumubaybay sa DepEd TV para sa mga araling ginawang video episodes. Mapapanood ito mula lunes hanggang sabado, alas 7 ng umaga hanggang alas 7 ng gabi sa inyong mga telebisyon. Abangan bukas mula alauna ng tanghali ang iba pang aralin sa ating itulay free online tutorial session sa English. I-like and subscribe at manatiling nakasubaybay sa ating itulay tutorial session sa DepEd EdTech Unit FB page at Educational Technology Unit channel sa YouTube at sa DepEd Tayo at DepEd Philippines social media accounts. Paalam!